Tennessee's Central Basin resembles the Italian Alps about as much as Kevin Bacon looks like actual bacon. But on our drive through the Volunteer State, the Alfa Romeo crossover named for the continent's iconic mountain pass transported us instead to a different European motoring mecca. Running southwest out of Nashville, the 444-mile Natchez Trace Parkway plows an arrow squiggle through a verdant forest and conjures up a sort of Leona Birdring. The way the manicured easement meets old growth oak, the way the asphalt never runs straight, the way one blind corner feeds into another, it all evokes the holy green hell. Mind the lighter clad cyclists. Dispatch with the dawdling sightseers and ignore the 40 and 50 mile per hour speed limits of the Natchez race and the Alfa Romeo stealth your alights with verve. It steers with a steady linear effort. The brake pedal responds obediently to slight pressure modulation. And in general, Alfa's brake by wire system felt more natural and better sorted this time around than it has in Julius sedans that we've driven. The Stelvio doesn't drive small, it's slightly longer than the Audi Q5, the BMW X3, and the Mercedes Benz GLC class. But there is a precision to the controls that invites you to use more road to corner closer to trees that crowd the driving line and to drift nearer the drainage to chat the pavement sedge. In this segment, only a Porsche Macan inspires more confidence. The Stelvio's dynamic virtues hold up when driven in more routine environment as well. This transmission is